This is just fucking great. Now is it? What the fuck happened? I I I don't fucking know. What the fuck was that? What? We I'm had something we about the guards helping someone. So they changed. Oh the. We and that's we supposed to mean what? something. I mean, you know what we're here trying to do? Go after guards that will actually help people. And when, when was that ever discussed? Hit. Elka never mentioned it. Hit never mentioned it. I never so heard it either. Things? I'm just trying to freaking make some kind of rationality out of this. It. We had them. They were just there. We, the drunk wouldn't have remembered it. Would have been easy. And then he gets cold feet. Mm-hmm. There will be other opportunities, so there's no fun. Yeah, we'll get him next that. time. It's simple as that. Or if he gets cold and feet again will that be? next time, then we'll get him in again next time. You all don't even get the picture of this! And what picture is We that? have to send a message! They have to know what- that there's fucking consequences! You saw what we they did to Cedric! Yes, you, yes. What they did to that boy! Who didn't see what they did to Cedric? I'm pretty sure the whole entire town seen what they done to Cedric. Hell, they probably no even else. know. Well, guess what? We're the only ones that are actually going to do anything about it. Make sure those guards know that they're not invincible in this town. It's understandable, but this time we didn't get them, we'll get them next time. Simple as that. They just had a missed opportunity. Who knows? There may have been another reason as well as why they changed. Yeah. It's not like this happened every time. We've had a good record so far. Fine. Yeah, so maybe far. we should reconvene. Get back with Kit and Pelican, maybe. See if there are any changes. Otherwise, we should probably just keep it what's been, what we've been doing right so far, without any changes. Yeah, we can do that. It's easy. I. <laughs> As some foot traffic <coughs> is audible along the main walkways of the docks on the other side of the building. The group seems to take their weapons and seek to disperse. With what information you have gathered here, a few possible routes open up to you. You could choose to take this information to the guards, to Marco or Stefano. They would likely be able to do something actionable. It would be above board. Alternatively, you could look for your contact within the docks, if he's around, when he's around. See if you can gather more information from him. Though, depending on how far this has spread within the dock workers, he as well may be compromised. There's no way to know yet. Your final option is to seek out one of the ones that was named. Kit or Pelican and possibly entreat with them yourself. <clears throat> He's gonna look for the guardsman, Marco. Understood.
think sometimes you do just shitty jobs at first, but then you just like, oh, good man. <coughs> Morning, Mr. Cooper. Oh, morning. Hopefully you're doing well today. Are you under the impression uh, that you so far so you? good. Uh, just opened up, so we'll yeah. see where things go. All right. Take care. So you just enjoy being yeah. you as well. Come back up and meet me. Uh, all right. Morning. I'm gonna go now. Apologies. Oh, Hello. <coughs> God damn. <coughs> Forgetting the name, is this uh, Stefano with him? Yes, the two men before you are Sergeant Marco and Sergeant Stefano. You know that Stefano more or less has charge of the guard at this at, uh, at this current time. <laughs> Popular at least, yeah. Oh, just a, uh, just a yeah, I could say that. It's a shame though. I could say that. Gentlemen. Hello? A moment of your time if you would. How can we help you? It's more about what I can do to help you. We have a mutual friend, you and I. And... What is this about exactly you could help us with? I would expect that to happen soon. I understand what was this is better talked about in private. The whole issue with the Baron. I am doing this uh, four hour... To the keep we go. Very well. That's then. <coughs> Morning. Morning. No drinking today. Upstairs. <clears throat> Sit down, stand up, whatever you choose. I'm telling this information to the two of you because I believe I can uh, trust you for the good of the people of Nontes. You and I have worked together indirectly before to help deal with this Capitano business. So I know I can trust you. And you have been uh, good with the people. I've heard you've had a bit of an issue with uh, losing some guards in the night. A few? Yeah. Yes. I've been, uh, well, I've taken Before the liberty. I... Go ahead. L losing them is one thing. <coughs> Having them been made to suffer is another. Nah. So if you have something, lay it on the table. I have a lot. 
have taken the liberty of uh, <clears throat> staying up at night and uh, watching over your uh, companions, as well, these are the good guards now. Last night I saw the two of you, well, the two of your friends, get brutally beaten by about seven people. A group of seven. They work in a... Uh, they work to surround them and jump them before they have any idea of what is going on. I managed to follow one of them, where he took off his disguise. I've identified him. But this previous night, the same group of guards... Oh, sorry. Forgive me. The same group of people were about to attack uh, three of your men as well. But upon seeing them helping one of the drunkards near the forge... One of them called that off, and they dispersed. Wasn't that me and you? No, I went home early. Well, if you helped a drunkard by the I forge, you, later. you nearly got fucked up. Stars <clears throat> then to follow. Yeah, you said you identified one of them. I've identified a few of them now after I followed them after last night. The one that walked away was uh, the Hobbit Kit. He seemed to be one of the shot callers. He also hey. seems hmm. weak. He seems like the weak link. The five that I followed back last night started talking openly. They were a little frustrated with the boy for calling it off. Perhaps it was because you were helping the man. I do not know. The other person that they verbally mentioned was the Pelican, Miss Pelican. These two seem to be the main shot callers. I don't know if they're working under someone else, but these five on the docks look up to them. Those fives on the dock were also uh, general dock workers. In fact, everyone involved seems to be from the docks. I can identify all five that were there today. I don't well, three of them at least. I understand it. Pelican has been pretty much a friend to us. I don't understand. Why would she do it? Yeah, well, at least these people here were talking about it being revenge for Severick, the boy. And, of course, the bathhouse worker. What was that message that was written in that man's blood a few days ago? Blood for blood. Blood for blood, was it not? Blood for blood. And then there was another one on the second. That I don't remember. I don't remember what it was. I did not see that one either. <clears throat> Let me think. It was... Yeah, look in there. It's written. Here we are. The other body had a message written in another soldier's blood. No mercy ungiven. No mercy you shown, no mercy given. Yep. You <sighs> said that you identified them. Of course, word of mouth is something, but is there any proof? I have that no proof. Kit or the pelican or anything of this sort. <clears throat> I have no proof. You could uh, search the dock and find their equipment. You could find their clothes, but that would be an overt action, and you would only play into what their belief of you is. Abusive. It's not that I don't believe you, Mr. Sevatar. Yeah, we have to do it's everything by the books. It's the matter of the fact hmm. that if we just jump on names, we're no better than the man we beheaded a few days ago. I understand. Yeah, we're not the Capitano. And to be honest, the only reason I am bringing it to you at all is because I made a promise to our mutual friend that I would do it above the board this time. Not my wheelhouse, I'll admit, but... Hey. Well, we thank you for bringing this information to us. It helps in some regards. I could uh, have a persuasive talk with Mr. Kit, see if he is willing to give up any extra information. He is definitely the weakest link of them all. Sergeant? You could do that? Hmm. Keep it cordial? Mm-hmm. Any new information, bring to us. I see. I will continue to work on it. But remember, no more vigilantism. I don't want to see anyone else getting hurt. 
That's why I come to you, the professionals. <laughs> professionals, you hear that? <laughs> I am more of a watchdog. At least than idiots, huh? at the moment. Mm, you're we good give asset. for your information. Of course. I will look into it further. Sure. I will usually be out and uh, be out and about at night time. So if I see something, I will say something. Rolling something. So to say. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to do. If you're willing, with my authority, I can temporarily deputize you. That way you can move as you want. I'll be honest with you, the idea of being deputized by the town guard absolutely disgusts me. Perhaps you could give me a pardon in case I get caught. I could use it and show it. Of course, when this is all said and done, I will mm -hmm. return it to you. So I do not abuse the power. Unless you have like a coin or a fucking badge or something. I can do that. Somewhere on that desk, there's a temporary guard insignia. Give it to him. You show that to someone if you get in trouble, and you say my name, you'll be fine. Very well. This is weird being above board. Fucking hell. Oh. Did you hear that? No, you will have to repeat it. Apologies. Yeah. Only thing is that won't help you if you kill anyone, so... <laughs> Even if it is in defense of your guardsmen. I'll be honest, the two of you are good for the town. If I see you on the ropes, I don't know if I'll be able to help myself. Of course, I can always fade back into the night and disappear. It would not be on your heads. We'll never turn away help. Hmm. Defense of oneself is... <sighs> Defending oneself <laughs> is always on the table. But killing someone is always the last resort, at least. We try to make it the last resort, the best we can. If assistance is needed, non-lethal will be preferred. That way we can actually question people. So I can do my job as an inspector. Well, if you're out and about at night and you need my assistance, just whistle. I'll be around. Good will do. Know. All right. And vice versa. <clears throat> of course. I will uh, go and talk to this kid now. Maybe I'll pretend that I'm interested in his cause. That'd be smart. Right. But I that is all. We don't need to wish you best of luck, seeing how your work is what it is. Mm. But good luck. Luck is always appreciated, you two. I'll be around. One more thing. If this has to do with Severick. Pelican and Severick were together quite a lot. So if you can talk to her about it, do so. Hmm. I'll look into it. Take care, you two. Stay safe. You too. You can thank Miss Basil for to make sure not the board shit. You a crossbow. Oh no, I'm deputized now. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Miss Basil, she's worried about Soma. Apparently, those two were outside of the bathhouse late last night, but he's disappeared. Mm -hmm. yeah, I look for him too. To. <clears throat> Apparently, the man has a habit of sleepwalking. Oh, working, walking. God, it's hard to say that in this accent. <laughs> Walking. <laughs> yeah, we could tell you some stories, huh? <laughs> he woke up in this field full of blood one day. Yeah, he right. Was crazy drunk or something. <sighs> I will uh, go and talk to her then. Maybe set aside some uh, fears. Mm. 
Good luck, the two of you. Morning. Morning. There's a lot of callus on there. Good. Then I soon hope you know how to handle curses. Mm, you, have, do you have any of those as a kit or as a kid? I she haven't gone up this morning, morning, seeing as uh, my boat is still stolen. Oh, you got six days. yesterday from one guy at least. I don't know if he did anything yeah. else. Oh, that's 16 content. Nice. Oh, yeah, he made me free. Travel and get my item later. <laughs> yeah. No, I think uh, he was just stay away. Mr. Regan. Oh, we'll keep that away. Apologies to awaken you. You have not seen Miss Bezo walk past, have you? Isaac Kendall stole. Mm. Okay. Not right, in this direction mind. now. I, I did see her it. earlier, but not seen her since. <laughs> yeah, see thank you. Also fair. I'll let you get back to your nap. Mm. Thank you. Appreciate it. I was not napping. Could have fooled me. Oh, my stick is going everywhere. Oh, oh, you oh forgive me, I know table. you have. I'm a little busy right now, but I'll think about it, okay? Sounds good, do know it does cost. 
Miss Basil has not uh, left the city, has she? I don't think so, no. And you, Garzman? Yeah, that I've seen. I swear, everyone be wanting to talk to you and me. <laughs> seems they're very popular today. Nah, it seems so. Ugh. Serve it away, boy. That's alright. Ready? I'm ready. <sighs> I will hang you back there. Pick up me. A little bit. Don't want to fight one of those, but I mean, if it comes down to it. You look busy. Eh, there's always something to do around this town. Most of the time. So, not them. Breaking for a walk. Oh. Okay, right here. Let's see what they will have for dinner. No. Hey, please. Don't you fucking dare. Hmm? No. Hmm? There was a name liaison outside of Sardo Mursk. This mercenary liaison has gone missing. Have you heard anything of them or about them? DM query for Sevatar. Mm -hmm. Are you currently looking for Basil? Loosely, yeah. It's not a big thing if she's busy, though. Okay. That's fine. Yes, unfortunately, she is currently indisposed. Okay, doke. Just see, so just so you're not, you know, wandering aimlessly. Yep. Thank you. Not all those who wander are lost. Actually. Cannot forget.
As you wander away from the docks, you hear the activity begin to pick up. If, if I end up with any extra, I'll let you know. I know with everything going on, people need a lot of armor. Other direction. God fucking damn it. Here I go again! <laughs> fucking... The fucking timing. I walk around like for like five minutes and nothing as soon as I fucking change out. Are you shitting me? You fucking shitting, mate? It's a Sevata day. Once more into the breach. As he's walking, he's going to be just looking to see if he has any sort of evidence of the stuff that has transpired recently. You pass by the warehouse, Sevatar. Looking inside, everything is sort of scattered about. Some of the Sections of wood that is used for repairs are piled neatly to the side, but several of the crates are either opened or haphazardly set aside. It's not an uncommon sight for a pier. It's just surprising with how little business they've had as of late. Why? No one's really cleaned up. More of an idle observation than anything. However, nothing seems... What's the word? Suspicious. Correct. There's gonna be another shit show there if we are on the dark, but what else we can do? Yeah. Yeah. Should help we just stay out of the way? Yeah, I know. Again, up. just stay away from their ship and they should be fine, like last time. As you approach kind of Sevatar, the conversation there. continues. So far we just got Pelican side eyes you. Around. Noticing your approach, her gaze locks on you. Rolling. With a natural 20, while she doesn't tense up at your approach, her eyes glower slightly. There is a mistrust there, though you're not sure from where or how. Miss Pelican. Good day. Good morning. I was wondering. I was uh, hoping we could work together on something. Well, there's not a lot of work around the docks right now with all the ship lock and gone. But you look so tired. Been working late. Mm, well, you know. Well, you know, like, it's...
quite a hard job and we're lacking in people recently. Night shift, it's I always sacrifice myself for letting those guys sleep more slow around, right? And we appreciate it. <laughs> well, Definitely I'm a bit of a night owl myself. I like to uh, stay awake during the night times so I can uh, enjoy the quietness of the town. I can hear things, see things. Things I want to be a part of. Things I am good at. Sure. Let's go for a walk. Lead the way. We can talk more privately about those manor. Of course. You want us to follow or keep working? Oh, you can come. After all, it's uh, everybody's welcome on the docks to some degree, and we got to know all, all each other after all. Rolling perception for you. With a 13, given your own history and background, if it hasn't come up before, you take notice of the tattoos on Pelican's back. The general nature of her gait. And the... The scars that adorn her body. You get the impression... That she has had a life beyond mere dock work. And the tattoos, while you don't know specifically what they refer to give you the impression of an offshore, a buccaneer, or uh, a pirate in the past. I deserve some of those snaps. Alright, get over there. Sure. Oh god, you can go for it. Here you go. Come on, go, go, go. He's gonna pinch me. He's gonna... There we go. Oh, hi. <sighs> Get in. Another one. You would forgive me, Miss Pelican, but uh, taking a boat ride with someone I've only just met and someone who I don't know their true intentions are does not seem like a smart idea for me. You wanted to talk? You know the nature of the business we are talking about. Yeah. And I like talking privately of my matter. Okay. And there's no quieter days. place than the sea. Seventy. After all, I don't expect to live If you want to work on the dock, you <laughs> got to be used with the sea. <laughs> you better grab a, grab a, grab a better have to live longer than that. If you okay. cannot do that for me, Miss Torty. Uh, yeah. I'm going to take a boat ride with my friends here. Yeah. If I do not return, they fucking killed me. Just so we're on the same page. All right, Pelican, don't kill him, okay? <laughs> no promises. Kill him, but oh, tell us. Well, I'd rather if you're dead, promise. He is a friend. <laughs> Cyronic, Jesus, Tardy. <laughs> okay, okay, sure. Come on. Why are you friends with every shady figure in the city? <laughs> he called you shady. He doesn't even talk to me. I talk to mm. Markle instead. It's way easier to make business. <laughs> Be careful of that man. He is a... Uh... Well, I don't want to say it. He overcharges quite a bit. Oh, I saw that. I saw that first time. That's uh... a certainty. You don't fucking see this. Fuck you. I'm still sneaky. <laughs> no, it's Ed. <laughs> oh, shit, okay. <clears throat> Guess I can't stand up. You must be in good with this or tooth company.
Let's just say they pay more, but they, travel, and they treat us more like slaves than workers. You got advantages, but you win and lose regardless of who you work for at the end of the day. I know that all too well. I think here it's pretty good. Such secrecy. So. Eh, never too safe around those parts. Especially with the guards around now. No, but you're taking care of that, aren't you? If we are to be blunt, there's no reason to be uh, coyed when we are so far away from everyone, no? Mm. Yes, we can drop some cards down, after all. Very good. I don't like the... Uh, well, I'm much more blunt in the way I talk about things. I'm quite sure of... You're quite sure of yourself, but in the same time, is that why you were so keen to talk to Miss Basil on the docks the other day? Especially right after I get interrogated by guards. Mm. I assure you, that has nothing to do with me. I was pointed in your direction, yes. Not with Miss Basil, though. I had my suspicions about you, but they were confirmed last night when I saw your uh, men almost deal with those guards. Yet someone hesitated. I figured, well, if you're going to be surrounded by people that hesitate, why not find someone who doesn't hesitate? I could fill the role for you. Sevatar, she glares at you. It is a look that has no hatred in it, but rather there's a scrutiny to it. A scrutiny mixed with a sort of disappointment. You get the impression that she's sizing you up and finding you wanting. She doesn't seem to be convinced at all. So you're offering your services, freely of the kindness of your heart, after you point out to me to some guards. That's uh, awfully generous of you. I assure you I'm not doing it just for you. I happen to know the people that they fucking butchered. You see what they did to the poor hobbit. You know the most disappointing thing in all of this? Is I'm hitting guards, yes, randomly, because I don't have names, and all the names I could have is buried with the rest of the Capitano in the ground. But why do I keep doing it? You wonder? To lure out the one responsible. You get to understand one thing. The good guards, like people call them around. People are so keen to forget five years of abuse around this part. But I don't. I really don't. People like those good guards who stand there and watch for hours doing nothing when we get bleed out every single day. Or just even help them. Some even participated. Do you even know that? But now they treat it as heroes because one singular day. When five years we've been taking shit. You seem fair to you? One day of retribution for five years of suffering? It is a lot of suffering. But you yourself, 
You are not, uh... You're not exactly being a scalpel about this. You're attacking randomly, blindly, in the dark, and hoping you are getting someone who... <laughs> ...did these things to you. There's not much I can do myself. A little bit of justice right here and there. That's the most I can do. Especially for every single dock worker. Sammy was not the first one. That dancer in the bat, Lily, was not the first one. How many times Basil got grabbed and thrown directly up in the keep? Getting beat down, butchered, and sent back. Oh, but she's so keen to forget about those moments. Because, oh, yes, all the good guards are there now. Did even the custody apologize for all those years he closed his eyes on the Capitano action? I think you are... The more this woman talks, Sevatar, the more emotion bleeds through. You know there is a certain temperament to pirates. They are... emotional, to say the least. Blood for blood, the concept of getting even, is common among them. More to the point, however, they treat their own with a closeness of family. It is very clear to you that this woman and her actions are driven by intense emotion. Anger has decided her actions. Why do you risk yourself on chances? Why do you risk your friends and family on these chances? Because we're one crew. We're one family around those parts. And if I let them keep bleeding out when I don't do anything to protect them, because nobody did. Who was there when some, when Severick was true in the forge? Nobody did shit. Did you stand there and watch? I'm taking action. You are taking revenge. You are not protecting your crew, Indeed. you are avenging them. It is different. And if you keep going about it in a blunt way, in an open way, you're going to get your crew killed. And then it won't be on the guards, it'll be on you and your emotions clouding your judgment. Rather than allowing surgical strikes, you attack randomly. Please. Maybe you are not a fit for me after all. Rolling. With a 17, Sevatar, your words cut somewhere that you cannot see. Every other soul within this boat looks at you, and there is a... There is a true hatred in their eyes, but it comes to you quickly that their hatred is not so much at you, but at the reality of your words. There is a silence that overcomes them for a few moments before they speak. You have a point. Boss. Can I give you that? Yeah. Bring with you, boss. It does have a point. Don't get me wrong, I am no stranger to vigilante yeah, justice. I have killed many a guards in my past. And I can easily do it again. Holy fuck, what are you doing? Oh. Relax. Oh. <laughs> you hit a I fucking rock or something. I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a crow go past and it threw. <clears throat> I'm no stranger to vigilante justice. I have killed many guards in my past, I assure you. But I do it with precision so that I don't get myself killed. I don't get the people I care about killed. I certainly don't lash out with emotion. Now, if you want to go ahead and kill guards, go ahead and kill guards. But what you're doing is drawing attention to you. And I assure you, 
If I can find this out, the guards are not far behind me as much as I try to disrupt them for you. You're welcome, by the way. You're going to kill guards, kill guards that no one will miss. Be smart about this, yes? Kill guards that you know actually had something yeah. to do with the death of your friends rather than lashing out at the people that are trying to change things. After all, is that not what you are trying to do too? She leans forward and eyes you, thinking to herself, calculating, planning, in a way. So long. <laughs> Coming back. God damn it, fucking bro. She dives into uh. the water. To <laughs> oh. Oh. What have you done? <laughs> it's the worst pirate I'm I've so ever confused. seen. Confused. I've ever seen. You're fucking crazy. Uh -huh. Oh, um, this is a sh <laughs> this is a shipwreck. Everyone on the boat's dead. Under the sea. No, oh, I was doing so to well. The submarine. <laughs> part of the ship, part of the crew. Maple, fix it. All right. Um. Jesus fuck. Okay. <laughs> no better calmer place than the ocean. <laughs> We weren't expecting that too many waves, alright? <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh no. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> this is where I fucking leave your asses behind! No. Fuck you! No, fuck you! Our boat! God, where's the fucking... These fucking motherfuckers. <laughs> I can't find the uppies. Yeah, let me try to move here. Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh. Okay. Alright. Oh, that's All right. terrifying. Alright. <laughs> Ellen! <laughs> um. I think we're beached. Right. <clears throat> Can you uh, jiggle the throttle a little bit or something? Try and wiggle the boss. Hold on. That's a sit. I got to. I know. Can God just grab the boat oh. and push us back? Are we good? <laughs> yeah, I think we're good. Okay. okay. Hmm. Just making sh whoa. Just making sure nobody has a pickable item on them, right? Because that's the no. thing you tend to fucking throw nope. people away. I don't nope. believe in pickable items. Oh, please. But <laughs> the boat just hates us. Are we good? I think we're good. Oh, uh, items and no lines. <laughs> Here we are. My fucking okay. lag spike is just killing me slightly. No. Look at me. I am the captain now. Well, boss is dead. Um. All right. I really what want is... you to just be standing. <laughs> That's my captain. When it, when it comes up to the dock. You want to see a funny? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Torty, remember how he was worried about her killing me? Well. <laughs> Have I got news for you? <laughs> you fuckers want to see a sequel? What is that? I don't see now. Hi, right, Captain Savatar. Sure. <gasps> it's oh, it's Kyler Pink. It's a drow. <laughs> <clears throat> Who's a Kyler? Alright. There we go. Now we're good. <laughs> As you were saying? But killing guards 
who nobody missed. That doesn't send a message for the new ones who's gonna be in charge. How many Capitano you think I signed my life in this town? You think that he was a rare occasion around here? He was the first one who abused his power to bully every single one of us? But tell me the custody who the next one they're gonna replace for the Capitano. Not gonna be the same one. But you have a point though. I want the ones who are responsible for every single thing they did. For Lily? For Severic? For that poor farmer? Give me a list. Give me names. I've been waiting for that in this occasion for so long and nobody has brought anything to me. Like you say, I'm quite transparent. It's not just because I want to be. It's because because I'm just waiting somebody bring me the names. I can do better. I can tell you where they are. What? See, that is my skill set. You have the names. Watching. Waiting. Hmm, I do. I have the names and I have where they are. Give it to me. And everything will stop. I promise you as this, as a captain of a past ship. Very well. I will take your promise at face value, but understand that those who cross me, you know. <laughs> the guard. Oh, we had the threatening part. <laughs> you think I bring you in a joy boat ride for fun, too? I don't make Those across me are pretty much under dead. threats, <laughs> Miss Pelican. <laughs> I make promises. And if you have an agreement with me, I will keep mine. If you keep yours. I will. Very well. I never break my words. You can ask any of them. The guard responsible is a Sergeant Naraz. You probably know the name. You've seen him around. You have seen the things he does. He managed oh, to I do. escape. When this excursion went out and uh, that group of peasants went to kill the Capitano, or capture the Capitano, I should say, and kill his most loyal lieutenants, Naraz was nowhere to be found. Which I thought was a bit of an insult to me. So, I did a bit of digging around, and apparently Mr. Naraz has hopped the channel and is living it up in Blackrock, along with his most trusted followers. You see, they believe that they pulled the eyes over the Capitano. They believe that Naraz is smarter than the Capitano, and Naraz believes he was the one pulling the strings all along. If you want someone to point your finger at Miss Pelican, he is in Blackrock. But he is not here. Of course. Alright. Unfair to me. I get to reach out to old contacts in Blackrocks, I suppose. <clears throat> As a show of good faith, I will also inform you if you don't already aware, there is a Pirate Lord, apparently, trying to gather up men. Some big shot guy. He also is in Blackrock. He has been trying to call all of his uh, previous companions over there. Might be something you're interested in. That is not related to Naraz. What is his name? I did not catch his name. I just know he is a big shot of fucking Pirate Lord. Surprise news did not reach you already. You have a description? No. I can look into it more though. I mean, if I find something, I can come and find you. Call it a uh, continued friendship. <laughs> I will pay you too for your hard work. <laughs> I respect hard work above anything else. I'm nothing but a hard worker. No, we have an agreement, yes? Yeah, we do. Very good. Thank you for your uh, 
understanding with everything. Oh, and if I do hear of um, any of these uh, other guards trying to hide their way in with the good ones, maybe that information comes to you. That'd be appreciated. Of course. But I will stop on what I was doing. Now take me home before you fucking throw me overboard or attach me to the anchor or something. <laughs> if I really wanted to, I'd just drag you to a beach, crucify you on there, and let the crabs feed on your body. Oh, someone is going to put them on the front of the boat. It's going to be a good uh, ornament. <laughs> oh, on the sea, I'm quite confident. It's more when I'm on land, I'm not. Hmm. Well, it's a pleasure to make business with you, Arlene. Of course. I like having friends. Went more... <laughs> Went more better than I was expecting. Oh, some shady guy in a cloak walks up to you it's and nice talks about the shady shit you've been doing? <laughs> I would be nervous too. I'm not that nervous about shady individual. I've been dealing with them most of my life. <clears throat> I can see that by your tattoos. Well, my lady, gentlemen, a pleasure. If you have more information about that pirate lord, bring him back to me. But I got some letters to send. Of course. Take it easy. It's not really mission success. <clears throat> because they still committed crimes. They still murdered people. I don't know if the guards are going to want to uh, have retribution for that. <clears throat> At least when we're ongoing. It might be better to, uh, to not. Okay, anyway. Hey! Good, you're not dead. Nice to How's it going? Good? Very yeah. good. Wonderful. Don't go on that side of town. Cool, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. There is a wood wood guy that is on rooftops and... Didn't see him out on day last time. That was kind of scary, but he was on rooftops over there. So now I'm scared, and I don't know why we're outside. Usually it's just. But anyway. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, uh, glad your talk went well. Very well. It was a nice hmm. little fishing glad. trip. Very good. That is good to hear. Glad. Yes. Have you seen the Miss um, Basil around recently? Uh, uh, yes. I saw her, well, it was like 15 minutes ago. She could be anywhere. <clears throat> I see. Well, thank you, Miss mm -hmm. Torty. Okay. Keep your, uh, You're welcome. Head down I... and such. Yeah, gonna try my best. If you know, they decide to move their asses. They're fine here. They're all right. Everything's fine. I feel less safe out in the open. 
Well, in a closed space, what are we supposed to do? Grab the bookshelf, smack him down at him. He'll take a second to recombobulate himself. Books are special and powerful, but not that powerful, Miss Torty. Tell Thorin to make sure his hammer's ready. I, I don't know. I would feel like being out in the open where he can see us might paint a target on our back. There's more other people around. He's not going to just jump down and start killing. I hope. What if he does? What if he does? He won't. He won't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, exactly, Ghost Cat. Don't no! Why would you feel that? Oh, she even ran away like it. She felt that, you monster! Oh, now she's complaining. Literally, so tar. Well, if we can. What? You. You're the fucking devil. What about Sotar? You just stepped on a fucking oh. cat. I'll do it again too. Exactly. For Fucking free. so tired looking ass <laughs> motherfucker. No shoelaces? Don't know how to tie your shoes? They are velcro. How come, how come you, you're this like big toe sticks you. out so much more than the rest? Like why is it like... You wanna find something fucking weird? I have this and I don't know what it is for. Hmm. <laughs> like something's supposed to you know, go it's here. Probably for um, you know, a tactical a really shovel or something. Knife? I can't, yeah. can't wait for the next Inquisitor to show up, and I just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Can't wait. Get yourself a pistol. <laughs> I would have never noticed that. <laughs> yeah, I know it's really hard to see. Now you're not going to be able to unsee it. Anyway, well. <laughs> Even if you have a lot of bookshelves around, are you? I would recommend. I am Sevatar. What do you mean? Who the fuck am I? I told you. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> My name is Arnold Earhart. <laughs> <laughs> Lord of you. Holy shit! <laughs> I have to talk to some people. <laughs> you are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> we were in the middle of a conversation. We need to talk, we need to get back to whatever it is we were talking about. Weird shit. The, the island, yeah. You do yes. your fucking thing. I don't fucking care. Mm -hmm. Just don't get killed by wood, wood men, as you put it. Can I go back there? Do you think you it's know safe it to go back? What the thing? Mm -hmm. mm, I know a lot of things. You fuckers mm. don't talk very quietly. <laughs> you know that, right? Well, not you. You're pretty good. Uh, you're I... getting better. <laughs> I suck but at uh, that. you're good. Am I? Oh, thank <clears> you. <throat> getting better. Don't worry, I'm a friend, though. Yes. Mostly. All right. Mostly. Hmm. All right then. Depends on how I'm feeling. I'll keep that in mind. Look, I complimented her on her secrecy, and she's fucking <laughs> happy dancing. I'm happy. Am I supposed to hide it like everyone else? No. That's how secrecy works. Yeah, I don't want to be secret about my happiness. He's adorable. Am I just supposed to stand here, stand still young. all day, <laughs> every day? <laughs> I'm happy for you too. If you excuse me. Okay, old Enjoy man. Enjoy the rest of your day. Sure. All right, thank you. You well, when he awakes, and if he has the time for it, it would be. Uh, I could meet him in a minute. I could have a conversation with him about what I discussed with you earlier. Okay. 
thank you, madam. Let me take a look at it. Enjoy your time in the sun. <laughs> like a little bag. Out of the blue, blue God I sang for him. And What's in here? Ever seen it before? It mm. is cooking. Mm. Run some spice. Mr. Savitar, I have a question for you. Of course. I guess it's just it's part of Are you hired by chance with the mercenary hmm. guild? No. I don't like to associate. Okay. Do you have anyone you normally drop hmm. into? Of course. Does the name Lesrin or Cherry ring a bell by chance? No Do you have a description? Uh, Aylord. Yeah. Okay. Red hair no, mercenary, it's I believe, yeah, it's an, it's an elf. Name, <laughs> She's behind the desk. Yes. They either I'll live note it down. I'll take this. Most of the time. Heard he went He's missing yesterday. He likes, he likes leaving at the gate, huh? He did. I'll get it to uh, Kovacs. I figured the man such of your stature who knows a lot of the town would know something about that. Well, if he's missing, he's not in the town, is he? I'm sure that somebody in No. Which is odd for a man of himself, so I've heard. Why not? I have not taken much interest in him. He's not really in my wheelhouse. No issue. Just thought I'd ask. Do I enjoy the bench? No, I managed to have a talk with some people. Actually. Oh. Well, the uh, <coughs> these attacks they are stopping. They're not going to happen anymore. And what's the guarantee? Really? Me. I pointed them in the correct direction. They were doing this thinking it was uh, related to Naraz and his men. I informed them that Naraz is not here, and where he actually is. No, when we find him, I'll kill no. him myself. And then it begs the question, where is that man? Would you like to know? I don't know. He's definitely outside your jurisdiction, gentlemen. We would fucking love to know. Oh, well, I was taking a long piss. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna need you to keep walking, Private. <laughs> 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 New recruits to refill the ranks. Yeah, they're good ones. He's a little tr problem child, but he's a good one. <laughs> I've only heard need whispers to be burdened with too much knowledge. of where this uh, Nerez is, but if I have something concrete, I will come and find you. Perhaps we could work something out. Please do. Hmm. With him still being alive, there's always the chance that they decide that it's time to take it back. Yeah. He has to be dealt with, that's not a question. <clears throat> hmm. Well. We'll take your guarantee for what he's worth, but if another murder happens, I forgot who did it. Back to the drawing board. We have to do what we have to do. Me too. I got told some fucking guarantees, so if more shit happens, I mean, I'm going to be fucking livid. And my uh, stretch to say within the lore is going to fucking break. So let's hope for everyone's sake this does not happen. I don't necessarily want to have to inspect your deeds, Mr. Savitar. There would be nothing to find. You want your fancy badge back? There lies the worry. For safe of thought. Mm, you keep it for now. I appreciate it. Just in case they decide to break their guarantees. Of course. If they do, we will take them down. Anyway, just figured I'd let you all know. Well. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. Of course. Of course. Anyways, you enjoy your day and uh, enjoy your nights. Now you should be uh, unmolested. Gentlemen. Take it easy. Well. Hopefully he's right. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I have to hide this somewhere. I tried that, but I almost lost. 
almost done. Is uh, Miss Basil in? Welcome to the bathhouse. Uh, I don't believe so. Very well. When she uh, comes back, you let her know that her uh, mysterious friend is looking for her. Mysterious friend? What name? You know. Tell her she looks beautiful too, on my behalf. Very well. Very well. And if you don't, I don't know. I'm fucking glad the guards were like, okay, now tell us who they are so we can arrest them. That would have, uh, shooken everything off again. But hey! We did it. We saved the guards. Yeah, no, I was expecting them to be like, yeah, we're gonna arrest them. <laughs> no, we've been like, well, <laughs> now I look like an asshole. I mean, Kyler went into that conversation with the intention of just finding more information. He wasn't like, you know, wanting to stick around or find out or convince anyone anything. But when he, when he saw the opening, he's like, well, we may as well. <clears throat> Miss Plelican. All right, finally. We are, what, two hours in? And we're finally playing as Kyla. <laughs> I need to take a drink and a break. I bet you, as soon as I fucking <laughs> come out here as Kyla, Fucking Basil's gonna show up. I'll be right back, chat. <clears throat> I also just realized the guards can't do anything because they don't have any proof, and that's the reason that I was sent there to begin with. And they can't just go around arresting people without proof, or searching people without proof, because then they're just like the Capitanos, that's their main reason for sending seven. <clears throat> so I think we're good. Don't slip into the accent again. I would not slip into the accent. <laughs> Oh, no. 
recommend in sure. town. Hmm. I suppose the grass would be a bit stabler. Ah, uh, thank you, Godsman. I really do appreciate mm -hmm. it. You planning on advertising, or...? Uh, somebody else? I'm not going to ask. <clears throat> if they question Kit and Kit fucking blabs or whatever, <clears throat> then that's on them. <laughs> They didn't sound like they were going to investigate further. Yep, it's no other hands. I did what Basil fucking wanted! <laughs> I, I did it above board! Stupid minor detriment. <laughs> Let him cook. <laughs> oh no, I'm going insane. You know what? Yeah. How to see if they let it go? Well, I guess we'll see. Once, maybe just once I could have a, just a, just a victory, you know? But we'll see. Yeah, brass skull pin, deputy badge, dread knife dagger. I can, the, the man with many masks. <laughs> Bless you. He's clicking on the gym badges. He's gonna open up a fucking like briefcase and just be like, <laughs> "You wanna? So you want an identity, huh?" <clears throat> you succeed. I just don't know. I'm confident. For any more of this to come of it, a lot of factors have to, to come into it. <clears throat> Plus, I fucking nailed the speech craft with the pelican. <laughs> that was, I was really happy with myself in that scene. I was, like, hitting all the good points, you know? Being a true... A true rogue. <clears throat> The ego boost, it's less about, it's, it, Kylo doesn't care about it, he doesn't care about the ego anymore, he doesn't get gratitude from this shit. No one even knows that he's doing it. <laughs> he, the, the, the emotional aspect of a lot of these things is out the fucking window for him. He's like, this is the job, I'm gonna handle this job, and then I'm moving on to the next one. He didn't even care about any payments that they might have done. 
Didn't even ask. But he got the fucking guard badge, <laughs> so that's pretty fucking big. <clears throat> Yeah, no, I, there's no ego in it. He just, he probably won't even tell people he did it. It's, it's a, I mean, it's a null and void thing. Savitar will probably tell Basil, but that's about it. <clears throat> I mean, it doesn't really matter otherwise. <laughs> it was its own separate thing. It's not affecting really anyone else except for the guards. <clears throat> he doesn't need the, the head pat good boy thing anymore. He just... He doesn't care. <clears throat> He's tired. Servitor being the I know a guy guy. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, and we have the Gyu and adoption papers. Uh, that's his, like, true identity, you know? That's his, his, his zero, zero point. And everything else is based, you know... <laughs> it's gonna be so weird, but, like... <laughs> it's... <laughs> Kyla Blint being Kyla Erhard, being Sevatar being deputy of the guards or whatever, the shadow guard or whatever. <laughs> I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. The Night's Watch returns. He's a motherfucking shadow guard. Anything to secure stability in the streets, really, at this point. Securing the province. One person at a time. <clears throat> we mean you people. <clears throat> Such good music. Back to Novagrand, Grad, Gnad, Snad, Nova Snad. Sure is a long morning. What's up? I just want to set it up there by by Mortar. You'll see that there's a a rope tied with bundles of pickaxes and axes. I brought these back in for uh. Sure. Good morning. Can you help me? Uh, I just want to set it up there near the piles right there so I can tell him that I left it there for him. Yeah. Don't mind. I'm just going. But what could be blonde mistakes? Oh, can, oh God. Can, oh, no. Joke's on you. I put oh, vegetable God. oil on it this morning. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Oh, wow. She can actually do that pretty quick. Cool. I had Maelstrom up here the other night just in case. Oh, okay. Yeah, we just need to set them down right over here. We're next to every, all the supplies and stuff we've been gathering. Can you set the tools over here for grandfather? Should we end up getting more of that that fun stuff? How are you feeling this morning? <laughs> Don't remind me. 
No, come on. Tell them. Oh, more, more about the hangover than anything. Oh, he'll be happy to see these. <laughs> Among other things, like shit. I did have coffee for the first time, though. That oh. helps a little bit. It's a delicacy. Should even make it inside the door. You were on the outside. I did make it in... Well... I was inside. And then I woke up outside. Do you have that <sighs> medal? Are you working on it, by any chance? Do you need some money? Thank you very much, Mr. B. <laughs> Eager. Of course. Mm. Of course I am. I saw her at work on the Capitano. I haven't done basically about a day. Fantastic. I'll uh, come and find you tomorrow. Hey, there he is. We can yeah. all go talk to him together if you want. We can, if you wish. Yes, would you please. Like to come to... <laughs> would you like to come to And slap some theory? sense into him while we're at it. <sighs> Let's go, Soma. He's carrying his clothes. He is sweaty and a little out of breath. Hmm. Suppose a conversation for another time, or do you have it now? What? You're out of breath, you're covered in sweat, mm. and your clothes. Come on. Training. I was running on the beach with weights Training. on my clothes. Yeah. It's oh. a thing I do now, apparently. Look at this physique. Mm. Or lack thereof. I'm not going to be here to judge your training <laughs> regiment. <laughs> Anything, if you'll humor me. How often do you do spars? Sparring? Oh, well, not for a while. Whenever people ask me, I guess, or if I'm not busy. <clears throat> well, how about a deal? Seeing as I'm, you and I have been in partnership now for a little bit of while. How about we tack a little onto that? I will always continue to make the things you require in exchange. Some sparring. I didn't get these things made by you and your father just to have them sit at my hip and rust away, so. Yeah. No, definitely. I could, uh. I was trained by a lot of different people, so I could teach you a lot of different styles. <laughs> Perfect. Works for me. I mostly had gotten all my training from Mangus and, and Rin when he was around. And then a little bit of Harry towards the end, until I actually began to finally put all of it together. So, I guess I'd like to see what my medal's worth, mm. seeing as I was able to at least hold my own in the grove. But, people are a different thing. Mm. Creatures that protrude... I won't go into it, but... Oh, yeah. yeah all this training they never prepared me for any of it. <laughs> I guess. Nothing prepared me for that night. Yeah. Nothing did. Hey, you did well, though. I was just happy that my legs answered. I can move quickly. That's about it. That's a start. As for how fancy of anything my sword, my sword play is, I'll leave that up to your everyone else's discretion, I suppose. Doesn't need to be fancy, just needs to get the job done. You excuse me, I need to uh, wash off. I'm so sweaty and hot. Oh, want some lavender soap? I can make you some if that's you you so desire. <laughs> no, I don't really I can like make you scented more than soap. Just those tools. Hey, speaking now. of which, with this training coconut? thing, someone actually asked me about that. With this whole training mm -hmm. thing, you wouldn't happen to have anything that could, you know, a little bit. You could enhance my performance, maybe. <sighs> I need to sit, have you sit down and learn the difference between an apothecary and an alchemist. Yeah, yeah they're all Benora fancy. Most of the enhancements. Great, so I need to ask her for Here, fucking I'll performance enhancing briefly. drugs. Alchemy is almost philosophy. It's trying to find the unknown. And then that's by making a powder that can blind Being people. Listen, I wasn't the one who made that. I'm merely following the instructions of a, of a better alchemist. I think you're pretty good. I haven't spoken to, to many alchemists before. If Len was around, you would have access to, I think, far more than what I'm capable of. I'd like to say I'm catching up, but I think the gap is still vast, seeing as <clears> her <throat> abilities spanned over hundreds of years, where mine expand of a couple of months. 
You just need I more practice. Good, but not that good to get me that good. I have almost blown up my my top floor <clears> twice. <throat> hey, something mistakes <laughs> uh, something that something. A little concerning. Ah, uh, Clifford. No worries. If I wanted to end it all, I would at least not blow myself in the fucking in my house. Uh, doesn't matter. How are you, Clifford? Good. I'm good. I'm glad. For a second there, I thought you just threw them down there and hoped for the best. <clears throat> <laughs> You know, it's funny. I'll actually use this apparently as bow training for Sif, where they just, the rotation obviously of pulling back, like if you're pulling back a bow, and as you slowly keep rotating it. That's not how that works, but sure, let me do it. Fuck it, yeah, sure. I don't know. What would I know? I'm, I'm, I'm not an archer. I don't, <laughs> I don't that doesn't, fucking know. That doesn't seem legit. It's not like it's literally in my name or anything. But whatever. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> anyway, gentlemen, I will bid you. I just work there. A, a, a dude. <laughs> I do. Till later, Sheree. Oh yeah. Of course. By the way, for like the next few hours, your house is gonna s smell very distinctly. Yeah, I I went in to uh, to check on some things, and I saw you in the kitchen, and I was gonna interrupt you, but then I thought, hold up, let him cook.